Okay, back again. First edition of the motor mounts. I thought I had everything figured out. I set adjustments into them for the left and right, up and down. But I failed to take one thing into account. <clears throat> this one here only mounts on three of the holes, but that's all right. But as you can see, the adjustment hole here is blocked by the motor. So there's no way to adjust the bracket with the motor in place. So I made a slight modification. The new motor mount now is based on the 5 16 screw and nut. Whereby, as you can see here, this nut won't be on the final production. It's just to hold everything in place. But, inside, the nut sits inside the slot to keep it from turning. The screw will go through from the outside so it can be loosened for adjusting the motor mount up or down. Back in a bit. Motor mounts are in and they seem to be functioning just the way I wanted them to. They do give me full movement in the up and down and in the left and right axes, the Z and the uh, X axes, so I can align them as I need to to match up with the uh, rest of the X carriage. Now like Tech, C, Tech 2C mentioned on his videos building his hypercube, his linear rails were not 8 millimeters. And as you can see here, there is quite a lot of play and slop in the X carriage. Or in the Y direction here, on the Y axis. And when I measured these rails, they were not 8 millimeters, they were 7.94. Which is, I, I believe is what Tech 2C said his were which amounts to a 9 16 So I am going to have to either find 8 millimeter rails or 5 16 linear bearings. Whichever one happens to be the easiest to get a hold of here in America, where I'm at. On another note, a package arrived today in it I have my roller bearings and I also have my belts so the next stage will be installing the bearings and running the belts. I still have to figure out how I am going to attach the belts to the X carriage and go from there. So until next time, thanks for watching and have, have a good day.